This local sports report is presented by Green for Life Environmental, a proud supporter of the Elmira Sugar Kings. GFL is the only major diversified environmental service company in North America, offering services in solid waste management, liquid waste management, and infrastructure development. Learn more about their services by visiting GFLENV.com. GFL Environmental green today green for life let's head to the Woolwich Memorial Center for game two in the Cherry Cup semi-final the Elmira Sugar Kings on home ice for the first time this series looking to even the series out at 1-1 the KW Siskins able to find a big 6-1 win on Sunday looking to carry that momentum into a Tuesday night win and go up to nothing jumping into the action it's a good start for the Siskins netminder Luke Della Croce wins the race to the puck and fires. Nicholas Galda, awake early, turns away Della Croce. The Siskins back the other way here on an early 5 on 3 power play. Blake Weidman controls the puck in the slot and he grips a low shot on net. Ryan Lund jams with the rebound and Lunners on the board. That's Ryan's first of the playoffs and the Siskins are out front early. Some good work from the KWPP, but moments later, here's ESK with the extra man moving the puck around. It's a great setup for Brock Reinhardt. He's wide open, and he roofs it! What a beauty from Brock Reinhardt. That's his first in the playoffs, and we're all tied up at 1-1. Later in the frame now, and how about Hayden Zimmerman for the Siski buzz? He flies in and fires, and Zimmerman's got a goal! Some good speed from Hayden, and the Siskins are back in front. Final minute of the first now, more penalty trouble for the Siskins, and watch the setup from Jaden Lamell. He sends it to Logan Kranz for the tap-in! That's two for two on the power play from ESK, and they tie up the game at two each. And the Kings' power play wouldn't stop there. Early in the second, ESK five on three. It's tic-tac-toe to Adam Grine in the slot, and it's a bullet from the Kings' captain. The Sugar Kings' power play on fire tonight, and they take a 3-2 lead. The Siskins look to respond and watch the speed on the regroup. It's Jacob McKecker to Jake De Silva over to Blake Weidman, but Weidman rips it off the post, and it stays 3-2 Elmira. Minutes later now, and it's more from the Kings' power play. Liam Evely sends it to Brock Reinhardt on the wall. Brock steps into a wrister, and he's got a pair! That's two for Reinhardt on the power play, and the Kings pull ahead 4-2. The Siskins not down and out yet, however, and how about the heads-up play from Will Elliott? He finds Ben Oliver, and Benny O buries it! That's Oliver's fourth of the playoffs, and the Siskins pull back within one. Later in the second now, the Sugar Kings back on the attack. Liam Evely throws it on net. Madden McDougal finds the tip, and the puck squeaks through! It's five goals from the Sugar Kings in 32 minutes, and they take a 5-3 lead. Late in the frame now, it's the Siskins keeping the fight up. Jacob McKechn loads the cannon, and Blake Weidman fires it in! That's Weidman's 13th of the postseason, and the Siskins are back within one. Late in the third now, the Siskins pressing for OT, but how about Jaden Lamell? He knocks down a saucer pass, and he's in on net, and it's a quick-release snipe show from Jaden Lamell! That's the dagger for the Sugar Kings, and they take a thriller in Game 2 and even the series out at 1-1. The Kings would add an empty netter, as this one ends with a final score of 7-4 on Tuesday night. Game 3 is on Wednesday night at the Waterloo Rec Center. It's a big one. Uh, they got a lot of skill over there, and they're a really fast team. So uh, we stuck with the systems that we uh, developed over Game 1 after... A tough loss there, so uh, I think we, we regrouped pretty well and we're uh, ready to go back at them tomorrow night. Today was a little bit different. We were finding those seams. Um, it worked out well for us. I think we had uh, two or three, well, we had a number of, of good chances through the seams, so uh, it worked out well, but uh, yeah, power play's clicking. A good crowd out here, uh, putting a good show, uh, good opponent, obviously, but we bounced back after Sunday, so it was uh, good to see for everybody.